What's cooking at this Ford Motor Company laboratory? Well, among other things, it's vegetable oil, specifically soybean oil. It's available, the price is right, and by using it, we can have a great environmental impact. Ford is turning soybean oil into soybean foam for vehicle seats. As of August of 2007, we launched soy foam, so soy-based polyurethane foams in the seat backs and cushions of the Mustang. So in a new Mustang, you're not only sitting in style, you're sitting on soy. And it's not just Mustang. The 2008 models of the Ford F-150, Ford Expedition, and Lincoln Navigator all contain soy foam seats. The use of soy is part of a Ford objective to use more environmentally friendly materials. What we would like to see is most of the interior materials replaced with a more natural material, so all of the plastics and carpeting, fabrics made from renewable resources, so we don't have to tap into limited petroleum. Right now, Ford's Escape offers some seats made from 100% recycled fabrics. And take a look at the exterior body panels of the new Lincoln MKT concept. Ford President of the Americas Mark Fields notes that that exterior is made of an environmentally friendly material. Uh, you won't find steel, actually. Lightweight body panels of this vehicle are actually made from a new synthetic resin that's derived from 85% post-consumer waste. You know, items like uh, plastic bottles. Ford scientists are researching a host of materials for inside the car, outside the car, even underneath. And here's one example. This is an underbody shield, and we are replacing the glass fibers with natural fibers. And these are lighter weight and are better for the environment. Ford researchers feel they're opening up the whole chemistry book to discover what they can do. We're not talking about a thousand years in a compost heap before something degrades back into the soil. We're talking about 90 days. That's exciting.